What's up, guys? This is my high energy vlogger intro. <laughs> That's so not me. <laughs> Anyways, we have some big news regarding. I know this is awkward intro week. If you're if you're new here, we have some big news regarding the stimulus checks and actually hitting bank accounts this weekend, like within 24 hours of me posting this, certain people will be receiving their stimulus checks. It's crazy. So for some context here, the first round of stimulus payments took 19 days for the first people to start receiving their, their electronic payments. The second round of stimulus payments, it took three days for the first people to start receiving. Now, that's just the first group of people. And then it phases, you know, for a month or so after that. And then some people still haven't received them. This time around, we were expecting around three days, but potentially a little bit more of a delay because it is tax season. And there's a lot of just issues with tax returns right now. And of course, the IRS is the, the entity that is dispersing these payments. So we're kind of ahead of expectations here. Like I said, the very first people are set to receive their stimulus payments, at least a pending deposit in their account on the 13th and the 14th. So let's discuss who is expected to receive these payments first, and then who is also expected to have some delays here because there were a lot of changes with stimulus payments this time around. So just for some context here, this time around, it's $1,400 payments to each person. Every single tax paying individual receives $1,400 payments. Every non tax paying individual receives $1,400 payments. If you have child dependents, you get $1,400 per child dependent. If you have adult dependents, if you have a college student who is uh, 18, 19 years old, you receive $1,400 for them. If you have an elderly parent who lives with you and they are an adult dependent, you receive $1,400 for them. So this is a very significant comprehensive stimulus check, much larger in scope, especially for families than any stimulus payment we've seen before. Now, the groups that are expected to receive this very first in line are those who have filed a 2019 or 2020 electronic tax return and have already received a refund. So if, you're, if you've done that, you're already first in line. The IRS has all your banking deposit information. If you received a refund, if you, if you had to pay in tax, it's slightly different. We're going to talk about that later. If you received a refund, you've already filed 2019, 2020 taxes, you'll be first in line, especially if you are on the lower side of the income ladder. Because remember, payments usually go first to those lowest income and then it scales to higher income. But still, regardless of income level, if you filed an electronic tax return, already received a refund, you're going to be first in line and you may be one of the few who receive it this weekend. Also, another group that is expected to receive this very first is those who use the IRS's non-filer tool before the deadline of November 21st. So if you already use that for the other stimulus payments before November 21st, you will also be within this first group. So just for some context here, the IRS launched that non-filers tool last year for those who didn't file a tax return. You know, if your income is below a certain level, you don't have to file, maybe for whatever reason you didn't file a tax return, you fill out that non-filers tool, it basically creates created a slimmed down version of a tax return because technically in order to receive a stimulus payment, you needed to submit a tax return. That way they had all your various information on your dependents, your, your banking information, your address, things like that. So the, the non-filers tool is actually kind of like a slimmed down tax return and you had until November 21st to do that. If you haven't done that yet, we're going to discuss that later, but this group will be in the first group to receive that. Again, the lowest income will receive it first and then it'll scale up to the highest income. Also, those who receive social security retirement benefits, survivor or disability benefits, supplemental security income and railroad retirement benefits or veterans benefits will be very first in line to receive the electronic stimulus payment of 1400 smackers <laughs> for yourself and for every single dependent. Um, so those people are not typically required to file a tax return and it will usually go in whichever account you you receive your benefits in. Now, if you received a paper payment last time and you're in one of any of these categories that's expected to receive this, the payment first, chances are you will receive a paper payment or that debit card again this time around for whatever reason. Now there are groups of people who will likely see a delay in their stimulus payment. The first one, the first group is those who filed their 2020 tax return and they owed the IRS. Now there's this weird thing with the IRS and tax returns where if you had to pay the IRS for taxes after you file your return, 
they can't just deposit funds into your account like they could if you received a refund on your taxes. It's kind of a weird quirk in their system, but that's just the way it goes. And because of that, you're, you'll likely see either a delay in your electronic payment or the payment will just be mailed to you via check or prepaid debit card. There's gonna be more debit cards this time, very likely, than any round before, and that's kind of scaled up. There was about three million people who received it the first time, then about eight million who received it the second time, and I expect at least eight million people to receive it this time around as well, because I, I think the thing with debit cards is it's, it's harder to just transfer into your bank account and uh, just just leave the funds there. You're you're more likely to actually spend this at stores, which is what they want us to do when we're stimulating the economy. And a large percentage of you are uh, expecting to buy stonks, according to the survey that I did on my on my channel. Let's check that out. The next group of people who might see a delay in receiving their next stimulus payment are those who have to file a paper return. Now the IRS has been saying for a while if at all possible, file an electronic return this year because it's gonna be a much more smooth process. There's still issues with, with COVID and delays with paper returns and the processing of those returns. So if you file a paper return, you might wanna extend the deadline a little bit as to when you can expect to receive your $1,400 stimulus payment. The next group is people who have not filed a 2019 or 2020 return at all, or they didn't use that get my payment tool. So again, to get that stimulus payment, you have have to file a tax return or use that get my payment tool but the issue is for right now the get my payment tool is closed now this will likely open back up again but you just won't be in that group of people who receives the payment right away we can probably expect that get my payment tool to be open within the next week or two once it's adjusted for you know the new year the new returns the new amounts and you know the what have yous. <laughs> the, the next group of people who can expect a, at least a small delay on their return are those who receive federal benefits and they have dependents and they have not filed the get my payment tool before that deadline of November 21st. This is because the IRS simply does not know that you have dependents if you haven't either filed that get my payment tool or filed a tax return. And you will very likely miss out on the dependent payment portion of your stimulus check until you're able to add that information in. And this also goes for those who have adult dependents. So this one's a little bit different. Let's say you file the Get My Payment tool before the 21st of November, no problem. You put in your child dependents, but you have an adult dependent that you didn't put in there. You're gonna have to add that adult dependent in later once they open up the Get My Payment tool again. Now, one's kind of saving grace is that the IRS this time around will allow for supplemental payments of the stimulus check. So if they get something wrong, if the dependent payment isn't right, if your stimulus check payment isn't right, they're saying that they're going to be able to send out additional payments to individuals who need more before the end of the year. Very worst case scenario, you'll have to receive it at the end of the year, filing a tax return. But they're saying, under the law of the American Rescue Plan that they'll be able to add payments later. We don't know the process yet for how that will work, but stay tuned because I'm sure I'll have a video explaining that. So make sure you like and subscribe this channel. <laughs> That was a terrible pitch. The next group that may see a delay in their payments are those who have closed the bank account that they use for 2019 or 2020 tax refunds. If you've closed this account, odds are the IRS is going to try to send a payment, it'll get bounced back and then they'll have to mail that payment. Now that isn't the end of the world, but it just means you won't be one of the few who gets this payment right away. Now something to note here, even though certain people will start receiving those payments on the 13th or the 14th, this will be a small group of people and then it will continue over the next month or so where everyone will receive that payment. Then I just wanted to finish off with a quick paycheck protection update. It's looking better and better that the paycheck protection program is going to be extended beyond on the 31st of March. We still don't know 100% as of yet. If you have used that fast track PPP program, which I have linked below, if you haven't applied for the PPP yet, do that as soon as possible. If you've, if you've applied through that and you haven't received an email back yet, don't worry, they are processing. And I've now received notification that like literally hundreds of people have received funding. So if you haven't received funding yet, it'll likely come very soon. If you want a status update, you can reach out to their support, support at Wompley. Also, if you received an email saying uh, you can apply also through funding circle, this isn't a worry. This doesn't mean that your original application was null and void. It just allows you to put in an additional application. So then you have multiple applications out and you can just choose whichever one gets submitted and completed and funded first. So there's no worries there. So that's going to do it for today. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.